ever been in that one scenario where your keyboard or mouse doesn't work anymore and you then have to rely on the on-screen keyboard or just hopelessly relying on your keyboard alone if your mouse doesn't work anymore? Well, I have a solution for you. Do you know you can actually use your phone as a keyboard and mouse in case your keyboard and mouse doesn't work anymore? It's actually pretty easy and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do so in just a few minutes. It's actually pretty easy. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first thing you want to do will be go to your Play Store and search up PC Remotes. Actually pretty easy. Just do this. And when you search it up, the very first one you see right there by Monect Company, that is that Monect um, shoe series. So that's the probably a Chinese company or something. Then you press install and you wait for this to finish installing. And once it's done, you install this tool on your PC. So on PC, you want to go to Google and search up PC Remote Monect Download. Or you can easily just go to www.monect.com to download this. But if you don't remember that, you can also just do as I said. And then you click this download button. And once you've done that, you see download link one, download link two. You can use either of them and they'll both give the same results and it's guaranteed to work. And you just start downloading the software and once it's done, I'll teach you guys how to set this up and link your Android device to your PC and so you could use your phone as a keyboard or mouse. So after installing PC remotes on both your Android device and PC, you want to make sure they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network and once that's done, all you actually just have to do is click this little connect by the bottom here and then your PC should pop. Now that this PC is showing, I just have to click it and showing connecting and now it's been connected as you guys can see. So whatever I do with the phone, I can now use the phone as a mouse. I'm using the phone to control this PC and anything I do on the phone, I can use this phone as a touchpad, as a trackpad, and I can use it to control my mouse. So let's say my mouse is actually having issues right now. I can use my phone as a mouse pad, as a trackpad to do whatever I want to. It's actually pretty easy and neat. You can use this anytime, anywhere, as long as the both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And it's very, very easy to use, as you guys can see. And so as for the keyboard, if you're one of those who can actually type really good on your phone but not so good on your PC or laptop, all you actually just have to do is click this little keyboard icon at the very top and once you click that, a keyboard will pop up. So whatever you type on your keyboard here right now would appear on your screen so easily. Take for example, let's write something really short, like, share and subscribe. As you guys can see, oh I wrote Pike, my bad. So you can easily just correct that, you can clear everything. It works just like a normal keyboard, like you'd actually be typing on your phone. So like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, it's actually just that easy. It makes everything so much easier for people who don't really like typing on keyboards or who don't like stressing around using the trackpad. It's so easy and convenient. So yeah, you guys should don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, the cherry on top is you can also use this as a controller, but personally, I'm not a fan of that. But you could use this as a controller for lots of games. Take a look at this Assassin's Creed, Black Maple Kong, Cyberpunk. You can use this as a controller in case you don't have an extra controller, so your friend can use your DualSense controller while you use your phone. It takes a lot of getting used to, but it's doable at least. And also, it comes with some pre installed old indie games. Take, for example, Super Mario USA, that's pretty old. You can literally play this on your PC using this app. It's fun and it's so like, what should I call it, nostalgic. So if you're a fan of this, you can always check this out and yeah. I almost forgot. You can also remote control your PC screen onto your phone. Take a look at this. So you just have to click the remote desktop and look at this exactly. My whole PC screen is on my phone and whatever I do on the PC, on the phone rather is happening on the PC look at that as you can see so I can look at my screen from here and it's just so easy to do and it's amazing I won't personally use this but it's nice to know that you can also do this on the phone it's so much you can check out this app to look at all the other features there are lots of other stuff I'm not going to talk about because it's a whole lot that would make it like a 10 minutes video but it's nice knowing that you could do all these things so now that you guys know how to connect your phone to your PC or laptop to use as a keyboard or mouse, 
I hope you guys would like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to know how to use your phone as a webcam or your game pads that adapt to triggers on PC, check out the videos by the left and right. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe once again. I'm that tech guy. See you guys soon.